Hi there. It's December 17th, and time for Proverbs 17. We're doing the New King James Version this month. Let's jump over there and we'll get into it. The Lord tests hearts. Better is a dry morsel with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife. Yeah. Talking about them this past Thanksgiving, right? A wise servant will rule over a son who causes shame and will share an inheritance among the brothers. Got that. There's always one in a family, huh? <laughs> the refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the hearts. Yes. And he will put your heart through a refining pot and a furnace to test it. Okay. <clears throat> An evil doer gives heed to false lips. A liar listens eagerly to a spiteful tongue. Right. Lots of this going on today. They said it would happen, and it's happening. He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. He who is glad at calamity will not go unpunished. Got that? You look down on the poor, you're looking down on God. Jesus said, whatever you do to the least of these, you do to me. Okay, that's something important to remember. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children is their father. Grandchildren are the crown of old men. That's good. Excellent speech is not becoming to a fool, much less lying lips to a prince. Sometimes you can just tell, you know. A present is a precious stone in the eyes of its possessor. Wherever he turns, he prospers. Now some versions said, call this a bribe, okay? Right. And if you're giving a present to somebody, aren't you trying to, you know, do good? He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates friends. Uh, let's make that pink. Yeah. Overlook stuff, you know. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just some things you should just overlook, you know. And if you repeat a matter, this is gossip too. Repeats a matter, which means you're repeating. That's gossip very looked down upon separates friends it does rebuke is more effective for a wise man than a hundred blows on a fool right you're smart you take good advice and you're wise you'll take it to heart an evil man seeks only rebellion therefore a cruel messenger will be sent against him hmm Wow. Let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. <laughs> yeah. You know, bear robbed of her cubs, that's nothing you ever want to be around, okay? They will tear you to bits. Even that's better than fools in their foolishness or folly. <clears throat> this would include all these protesters that are protesting stuff that they have no idea what they're protesting. Probably because they were getting paid by somebody to do that. But. Whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. Get that? We need to highlight that too. Evil will not. If you reward evil for good, you know, buying stolen property. Okay, you're giving somebody good money for something that's stolen. Evil will not depart from your house, okay? You won't be able to sleep at night. The beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. Got that? Just stop it before it starts. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just 
both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Wow. Now, everything going on in the world today with all this, the mainstream media justifying the wicked and condemn the just. It's exactly what they're doing. It's exactly why I say do not watch the news. Don't even watch, turn off your television because this is all it is right here. They justify the wicked and they condemn the just. And it is an abomination to the Lord. Okay. The past president called it fake news. And that's what it is because they spin their tails very eloquently and make them sound real, but they're not. Okay. And this goes on a lot. Okay, verse 16. Why is there in the hand of a fool a purchase price of wisdom, since he has no heart for it? Okay. Ah, I just wonder why some of these people in college, right? A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. That's a good one. That too. You know, you can have a friend, and you got brothers is not necessarily your your blood brother. You know, somebody who sticks by you in times of adversity. You know, when everybody else runs away, that's a brother. A man devoid of understanding shakes hands in a pledge. And becomes surety for his friend. Okay? It's about cosigning. Don't just don't cosign, you know. He who loves transgression loves strife, and he who exalts his gate seeks destruction. Yeah, there are people that just love strife and transgression. They just love it. He who has a deceitful heart finds no good, and he who has a perverse tongue falls into evil. <clears throat> yeah, some people just have deceitful hearts. They can't find any. Good, they can't find the good in anything. You know, they will always pick out the bad. Mm -hmm. He who begets a scoffer does so to his sorrow, and a fa and the father of a fool has no joy. Let's look this up. Beget. Beget, typically of a man, sometimes of a man and a woman, bring a child into existence by the process of reproduction. Or to give rise to or bring about. Hmm. Okay. That's he who gives birth to a scoffer does so to his sorrow. And the father of a fool has no joy. Yeah. You know, so you can raise, you can have three kids and raise them all exactly the same, and they'll all turn out differently. You know, sometimes they do. The same amount of love, the same amount of discipline, the same amount of, of training. And everybody's different. You know, and you won't you won't find three children in any house that are the same. They're just not. There you go. I've been saying this about other verses all along. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. That's been on lots of cross-stitching <laughs> little frames on walls. A merry heart does good like medicine. Yes. A wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back. To pervert the ways of justice. Yeah. And it says in other parts of, of Proverbs that when they do this, it, they'll always you will always be found out. Okay? You can't tell enough lies to cover it up. And this is going on a lot in governments all over the world. Okay? All over the world. Wisdom is in the sight of him who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. <laughs> eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. It reminds you of climate change, huh? In a hundred, in a hundred years, 
we're not going to have any water, or, you know, we won't have any coal, we won't have any sunshine. Right? The eyes of the fool are on the ends of the earth. That's a good one. <laughs> a foolish son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her who bore him. Yeah, we talked about that already. Also, to punish the righteous is not good, nor to strike princes for their uprightness. Yeah, that's happening too, huh? That's happening too. He who has knowledge bears his words, and a man of understanding is of calm spirit. And what does this say right here? Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> right? Smart people keep their mouth shut. And a man of understanding is of a calm spirit, but you don't get mad. And verse 28, even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. When he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. Another one, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> even a fool is thought to be wise when he keeps his mouth shut. Hmm? That's pretty good. So that's that's a 17. Let's see what we highlighted in here. It's a stuff. An evildoer gives heed to false lips, and a liar listens eagerly to a spiteful tongue. Hmm? And he who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. He who is glad at calamity will not go unpunished. Yeah. Bad things happen, and you're going, yes! That's. Even to your enemies, okay? That's not good. Okay? And Jesus said, What you do to the least of these you have done to me. He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. Good. Verse 9, He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates friends. Right? We're seeking love, overlook stuff, Okay? Overlook this. Don't sweat the small stuff. Somebody said, just overlook it. <laughs> Let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. Right? If if you're going to go try and talk sense into these protesters, it doesn't do you any good. The fools in their folly. You're better off. You're better off trying to settle down a bear who's been robbed of her cubs. We know how that'll work out. Mm -hmm. Whoever rewards evil for good will not depart from his house. Evil will not depart from his house. Yeah, somebody does something good for you, and you re and you reward it with evil. Yeah. Yeah. The beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. Right. And you can defuse things before they blow up. Okay? Somebody has to be the person who just snips the fuse and stops it. In our today's mainstream media, he who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them are alike, are an abomination to the Lord. Right? All this fake news out there. Verse 17, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. Right? Your best friends, the ones that are always there with you. You know, they're born for that. They're made to be there when times get tough. Hmm? Verse 22, a merry heart does good like medicine. Be happy about stuff. Happiness is very healthy. You know, broken spirit dries the bones, kills you basically. Huh. Verse twenty three A wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. They make all these people most people in Congress accept bribes, okay? They make they make between a hundred and seventy five and two hundred thousand a year and every one of them, with very few exceptions, their net worth goes up over $1.5 million a year. So, you know, 
one point, you know, four million of it is from bribes, okay, and evil stuff. And until we start questioning this, a wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. The eyes of the fool are on the ends of the earth. Okay, Jesus said, worry about today. And goes along with, with which, this one up here, oh, yeah. verse 15, he who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Hmm? And that goes right along with also to punish the righteous is not good nor to strike princes for their uprightness he who has knowledge spares his words and a man of understanding is of calm spirit right keep your mouth shut okay right there even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace or keeps his mouth shut so there you go that's Proverbs 17. Lots of great advice and wisdom in there. I like that stuff. So, have a good Sunday. Go to church. Hug somebody. Okay? Hugs are always good. See you tomorrow.